Okay, guys. Today I want to show you my favorite pho recipe. It's actually the only recipe that I do. It's called pressure cooker pho. So let's get to it. My name is Melanie. If this is first time. Welcome to Fish Sauce Mama. Subscribe for future videos on Vietnamese home cook and gardening. Our best known for Vietnamese food is pho, beef noodle soup. So, so here are some of the ingredients I have. Uh, I have some uh, ginger. Uh, I have ginger, uh, onions, uh, both onions, some uh, stick rice noodle. Um, it's called bánh phở tươi, and uh, meatball. That's two different kinds, but this is the the meaty kind I, I like because my kids, um, my kids likes to eat the meaty kind instead of the uh, tendon kind um, and three of these three of these uh, cubes if you are short on time and um, quick like me I would like to use these the, um, I'm gonna be using a 10 quart uh, pressure cooker and these works great um, so I have about uh, five to six pounds of, pork, uh, of beef bones and um, some, uh, we only do uh, meatball and rare, and uh, you can just get any rare you want, but I feel like we've had, um, we've used uh, filet mignon before, it's, it's awesome. Uh, it turned out to be, even if you use filet mignon, it's like five to six uh, dollars per bowl, and it's like, it's really good and it's a lot and uh, we're using beef loin top sirloin here today thinly sliced put right on top pour water on top it's it's rare and here are uh, some of the garnish that we have uh, we have some uh, cilantro some green onions some lime and um, some basil and some uh, bean sprout the hoisin sauce and sriracha so you will get about half a pot of a tin quart and go ahead and start your pot turn it on while we're preparing this I'm going to soak the ginger and maybe peel it or don't that's okay uh, as long as they're clean and also have another pot of water boiling so I'm going to blanch the bones to clean all the impurities in the meantime get your kid to help out with these cubes so they love to trick me, but they're very good helpers. Uh, these cubes are supposed to uh, be wrapped with aluminum foil. So they love to just trick me by putting back so that I think that I didn't do the job. So just pop them in here and that's it. So we got three of those. In the meantime, the bones are boiled and all you do is just dump them out in a clean sink and then wash them off all the impurities and a little uh, shark that might be uh, in the bones where they were sawing at the supermarket so for the bones I like to use the femur part because it has a lot of flavor in that bone marrow bone marrow? When that's all clean, put it in the pot and the ginger and the water should be very uh, warm or close to boiling right now. I forgot to tell you I have also used this pho bag. Uh, these are all the spices uh, ready made. That it's very nice to have that bag. I'm using the spices, it's called the mixed spices, but um, all it has is it has a piece of cinnamon, some star anise, uh, a couple of cardamoms, a couple of pieces of licorice, some black pepper, 
and some cloves. If you don't have the bag, you can mix your own. You can just throw them all in and later you strain them out. Either way, that will be fine. This is just to make things easier. Some people roast them up on uh, the pan over a heat to um, release the aromas and whatnot. I find this is perfectly fine. Sometimes people uh, will throw in like a char onions and whatnot. I don't need this because I'm going to cook this thing to death. I don't want the onions to be in there and ruin my soup. I want it to be clear. So close the lid and I want it to air tight. I'm going to uh, set this to high pressure for 70 minutes. And I'm going to do redo this for about three to four times. It depends on uh, when I remember to re restart again or, you know, um, if I want to eat it early. So in the meantime, I'm going to prepare my veggies. So we're going to wash all the veggies, uh, limes and green onions and cilantro. I love green onions and cilantro. I put a lot in my bowl. And your basil. Make sure you wash the basil or any vegetable at least a couple of times to make sure all the dust and the sands is gone. And Rinse out your bean sprouts if you like bean sprouts. Now it's chopping time. This is going to be a week long dinner or a, a lot of bowls. So it turned out to be about 12 bowls. So this is a lot. So cut up your lime and your vegetables. I like to put a little bit of paper underneath this big tub so if it is any moisture, it does not ruin my vegetables or my onions and my uh, cilantro in there because this is going to be in the fridge for about five days. I like to prepare everything up front in one day. Uh, the time that it takes me to prepare all this is probably about 30 minutes. And this will last me a whole week without having to reset, redo it every day. Every day when I come home, all I gotta do is just assemble, throw some meatballs in the, the, the pressure cooker, in the water, in the soup, and then uh, put some uh, noodles in and assemble it real quick in about 15 to 20 minutes, you know, things are ready to roll. So cut up your meatball how you like. I like to cut them like this where it has some angles so easy to to pick up with chopsticks. Some people cut them flat, but it's very, um, I like it a little bit angle. Then so you slice your beef and then just set them aside. I didn't really uh, freeze them or anything. Every time I cut them, it's too cold. I'm fine with kind of slowly slide them like that. After three to four hours of freestyle, and this is what it looks like. It's very flavorful, guys. It's very tasty and yummy. Look at that broth. Some people don't like the broth to be too dark. So after you restart the first time, um, you can just take that seasoning back, I mean, or, or spices back out because the spice bag is actually making the the broth color a little bit dark but i love it i love all that so i'll leave it in there and you can see there's a lot of flavor in here due to a lot of fat and i don't really need all that so now i'm going to skim all this fat out and i'm going to remove all the bones and the ginger and discard them so the way that, there's different ways that you can remove the, the fat. You can just skim them out like that. Or you can scoop the soup out 
big scoop out just on the top just until you see no more fat so trying to get you uh, a bigger bowl so you see the darker part at the bottom is our soup and the flavor that you want so I don't want to throw away that I want to save that so I'm going to put that part in the fridge to let it get really cold and then I'll remove the top or you can just put an aluminum foil over the top if it's in the winter you can just throw it out for about an hour or so you know um, it will crust up and it's easily be removed out of that bowl and then save the rest it will put it back into the bowl uh, into the, the pot and just remove your ginger remove the bag of uh, spices and all the bones as you can see everything is loose and you know very 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 good all the bones are like falling apart there's nothing in the middle the marrow is all separated I like marrow so I'm going to save this for my own bowl my husband does not like it so this is just a separate uh, out and I'll just put them in my bowl and you know there's a lot of um, solid to take out so refill it with water and it's time so during the day with day when I come home I just pop some of the meatball in uh, blanch these noodles real fast as soon as I put them in I just take it out real quick it's not but like one to two seconds and put it in your bowl I like to flick it up a little bit because the noodles has a little starch in it and I like to like flick it up I don't know why <laughs> and top up your meat uh, so I'm going to do rare so I kind of lay it out flat add some a lot or a lot of uh, onions and cilantro and your white onion some meatball and bean sprout and this is for me add a little bit of bone marrow for just me the kids are ready and let it cool while I'm preparing and when you pour that hot water in there or hot soup in it the bread should be cooked and put some sriracha on there something for a little bit for dipping and your hoisin sauce on the side there and about a tablespoon in my own bowl I like to squeeze a little lime in my own dipping uh, bowl and a little lime in my own bowl some fresh basil and some bean sprout and here is how I remove the fat so all that has been hardened and just scoop a little bit on the side there you can see that's like an inch of fat that is a lot I know it's a lot of flavor but it is way too much for me I I like a little bit um, but I promise you the the taste the flavor is still there I didn't really remove all of the fat I just want to remove most of the fat and I pour the dark soup back into my pot and you can see all that I'm going to take it out and I'm not going to throw this in my sink that's why I um, harden it up and then I just wrap it up in uh, aluminum foil and then throw it in the trash it's better for my sink I don't want it to, to mess up or clog up my sink if I throw all that in my sink especially in the winter see that I don't know that's like a pound of fat it's way too much but it's good though and here's another way to remove fat just take out the top and go ahead and line an aluminum foil over a bowl and go ahead and pour that into the aluminum 
foil line bowl and one is all hardened and you just pick it up and toss it out okay that's it guys I know this is a little bit longer than normal but this is a lot of details that I want to show you I hope you enjoyed this video and click that big thumbs up to let me know and share it with somebody who love fuck have a good day bye bye